Please. Oh, please. <laughs> then, well played, because I was moments away from getting on my knees. Joking aside, thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. Happy friend, what troubles you? The Blade of Frontiers at your court. Carl, one of the... She fled. I can't bear to imagine the lives Carl... Open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. You stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head Pounds and aches. No matter how it appears, the body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? The little worm seems silent. Your companions sleep blissfully tonight. If it were the rage of a tadpole, no others seem to be affected. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. The bedroll becomes a warm, swampy cocoon of gall and fluids. You wonder if your misdeed will be noticed. Ah. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. She was brutalized. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? This blood didn't get there on its own. Her neck didn't snap by any accident. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deeper, hungrier. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. As the Inquisition departs, you are left alone with a familiar headache. 